I'm Dave from Fresco's Cocina Mexicana. Um, I've had the opportunity to cook with some of the greatest Mexican chefs in the world, in Mexico, throughout various regions. Spend time with them in the markets, uh, talking about the varieties of the chilies and the produce and the herbs, and tasting those things and understanding where they came from and how they're used. Uh, and having been able to experience that, I have brought back actual recipes and ideas on the preparation of this vast array of sauces and salsas and meats. From the simplest of enchiladas and tacos to the complex of uh, enchiladas borregos or the Yucatan cocktail, the more elaborate, they're all authentic flavors and authentic ingredients that are truly the taste of Mexico and not something that someone that has decided here that well, that must be Mexican food, so it probably tastes good. This is truly the real flavors and ingredients. For example, our uh, fresco salsa, is mes we mesquite grill fresh tomatoes, we mesquite grill fresh jalapenos, and blend the tomatoes and jalapenos with some fresh garlic, uh, and a little, a little camino, and this is tremendous. One most important thing was is that what makes Mexican food so good are all the freshness of the ingredients. And so that's what came about the name of frescoes. The definition of frescoes is fresh. Having done this research and testing uh, and learning from the uh, great chefs of Mexico, we opened a location in Watauga. The atmosphere is very comfortable, it's very inviting. Uh, we actually just opened our new location here in Burleson. And we have some live music on the patio. Uh, we have the greatest margaritas. We're using an aged tequila for our margaritas. Here in a moment, we're gonna make uh, one of the dishes here that I'm very passionate about, and uh, I, I believe it's the best anywhere anyone could have. It is authentic. It's a staple dish in Mexico. We're going to do tableside guacamole. I'm going to show you the true authentic way to make the best guacamole you'll ever have. And I'm going to show you the ingredients and the method to do it. If you want to make this at home, you're going to love it. It's going to be very simple. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to start with the avocados. And of course, these are Mexican avocados that are from uh, Orapan, which is the state of Michoacan. You can see the color is very pretty. And the seed will come out generally pretty easy if they're ripe. You see how beautiful those are. Not just the avocados being great are very important, but the vegetables and what you do them is extremely important. We're going to start with some fresh cilantro. We've got some fresh minced onion. And we have some chopped, finely chopped jalapeno. The jalapeno really is truly for, for flavor, and it's not about making it spicy unless you want to. And then we're going to use some uh, fresh tomato. These are all vine ripened fresh tomatoes. Now we're going to use a very key and special ingredient, and that's fresh garlic. And there's just no substitute for fresh garlic. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of salt. Now, this is called a tejolote, which is like a pestle for a mortar. And the key to the guacamole is we're going to actually puree the vegetables, and we're trying to extract the juices to bring out all the flavors. This is their secret to uh, great guacamole. Now we're ready for the avocados. And you can always tell a great avocado by its color, vibrant, bright green. So right next to the skin is actually, you have the darker green. That has the most flavor. And one of the great things about avocados is it is a monounsaturated fat, which means it's heart healthy. Avocados are really good for you. Last but not least, we're gonna brighten the flavor and a little bit of lime juice. Time to mix. Make sure we get all that great flavor from the vegetables. The aromas are coming out from the lime and the garlic and the cilantro and those fresh tomatoes. I promise this will be the best you ever eat. It's the best I've ever had and I've traveled a lot. So that's tableside guacamole. And if you're not eating at Frescos, you can't be sure it's fresh or authentic.